What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I got a package from Kingston that I'm very excited to unbox and open for you guys today. The other side shows my address and information, so I'm going to go ahead and do it from the bottom here because I couldn't get it off. It says to peel from this little side right here, so that's just what we're going to do. It's like extra wrapped. It's, it's, it's kind of awesome. All right, and then from here, we dig in from here, and we got some goodies. This is the Kingston Mobile Light Wireless G2. I actually have the little Mobile Light G3 card reader, and I absolutely love this thing. So this is a wireless media streaming device. You can uh, extend the storage. So like if you have a phone like a Moto G or the Moto E with very, very little storage, you can actually keep all of your big movies, music, pictures, all of your really big stuff on here, and you can transfer it back and forth between your phone and this thing, or you can just simply stream it, so that way you're not using up any storage on your phone or tablet. You can use this to charge up your phone like a little portable battery bank. This has a built-in 4,640 milliamp hour battery, so you could use that to charge up your phone or your tablet if that device is running low on power. Let's go ahead and stop talking about it and open it up. Uh, actually, let's read on the side here. They actually have an Amazon app, so that's really cool. Hopefully, they have one for the Fire TV. That way, you can have this streaming media to your Fire TV. Um, if they don't, then hopefully, they make one in the future. That would be awesome because I use my Fire TV a lot. So, it's also available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. And then there's just some more information about it. And let's open this up. And in here, you can read more about the being able to extend, stream, charge, Charge your smartphone two times. That's cool. Uh, it has a little asterisk, meaning that if your device has a really big battery, like a Note 3, then it won't be able to quite charge it two full times. But if you have a smaller battery, like uh, Nexus 5, for example, then it will be able to charge it two times. One of the really, really awesome things about this is you can hook up a flash drive to it and transfer media to it. So you can use flash drives or you can use SD cards and even micro SD cards. So a lot of expendability on this little guy right here. You're not limited to just the internal storage or an SD card. You can use a flash drive. And we're just gonna go ahead and let it come out here. It looks nice, I like the look of it. It's got like a, it's, a, it's smooth, but it's, it's just, it doesn't feel like plastic, feels like Kind of feels like the Nexus 5, but it's not as um, as grippy. It's a little bit smoother. So then there's some information on the back, like the MAC address, the model number, which is MLWG2. There's the Ethernet port, so that's something I didn't even notice. Apparently, you can connect it to your router via Ethernet. There's that USB port, so you can take a Kingston USB 3.0 flash drive and stick it in there. Or you can use that SD card. And on here, you have like your battery, your Wi-Fi. This is if it's connected to the internet, a power button. It looks like maybe a reset button right there. And then a micro USB to charge it. That's also to transfer data to the storage that's in here. Whether it be the SD card, flash drive, or etc. Or to charge the internal battery on this guy. In here, you're given a little micro USB cable. Nice and short, which I honestly like that a lot because... Uh, you don't really want a very long cable, um, and also you could use this to uh, charge up your smartphone. So you could plug this into the USB port right here, and plug this into your phone. Or if you need to charge the internal battery on here, you can plug this in, and then plug this into like your Samsung, HTC, Asus, LG, whatever charger that came into your phone. You can use that to charge this up, or you can plug this into a computer. And then they even give you a little adapter, so you cannot directly plug in a micro SD card which isn't an issue but you can use this little adapter that converts a micro SD card to a full size SD card to check the battery level you just tap it one time it looks like and it's flashing so I need to charge it and to turn it on you hold it for three seconds I know a lot of people like short videos, so this is just going to be the unboxing. I'm going to charge this up. I'm going to be transferring videos to it and seeing just how well it performs um, via wireless. And also, you can hook it up to your router, which sounds awesome. I'm definitely going to have to 
Actually, I got my router maxed out with my Xbox One, PS4, PS3, and my laptop. So I got four things plugged into my router right now, and I can't really... So I'll just probably be using the wireless on this sucker. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs down. Please leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see in the next video on this sucker, or if you have any questions about it. Feel free to leave them below, and I will try to answer them. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date on the latest videos I'm working on. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.